So in this course, I'll be showing you how to lay your UVs out, nice clean UVs for laying our wood grain on. We'll also be a UVing out the actual wheel as well. Now also, as well as this, we will use the noise plugging to generate our wood grain from an alpha and I'll be showing you all the steps right the way through even creating the alphas themselves uh, inside of Photoshop and bringing them into UV laid out panels inside of ZBrush. So as well as looking at the UVs, laying them out and doing basic um, modeling, we'll also be looking at, as you saw, the noise control and how we can affect that. And also I'll be showing you how to create these kind of depth um, brushes in here that will give you control and be able to embed them into the model at the correct height using depth controls inside of ZBrush. So as well as this uh, rope brush which I supply and I also show you how to use, we'll also do this chain link brush as well. And you'll see that the depth there is on there and I can change the depth of that in here to embed it more into the model, um, specifically to get the right distance for it to be 3D printed or that de detail to be shown. So we'll be looking at that in the course as well and utilizing that into the model itself. So here is the finished model that we will end up with. As you can see, we've used lots of um, different ways of controlling detail on this model. And we've also added quite a few extra things such as the shield, some chains, some spikes coming out the cart. We've actually put chains around the bore itself and we've added a plinth to the bore as well as a saddle mat as well. And of course we've got the wheels. Now we're using a variety of methods to do all of this stuff. We'll be using extrusion, we'll be using noise, we'll be using 3D snapshot, we'll be using uh, layers and morph targets and a ton of other techniques to get this model to this stage. We'll also be doing pegs, insertion pegs for some of the parts for uh, fitment. So you can see I've got an insertion point there. And if I come back out of this and we look at this piece here and you'll see that there's the little slit slots there for that to actually go into as well as the wheel itself if we look at the cart you can see there's a hole in there to allow for the wheel to actually be put into that part as well so loads of control over the bore itself and I'll even show you some extra methods for creating the bore so if I go into the bore section now turn everything off you can see we've got a piece there but as soon as I activate um, my other tools in here, you're gonna see that this is actually taken away from this piece. So you got that. So for an exact fitment on that piece there, we have this, and that's how that was created there. And that legs fit in there. So I'll show you those methods. I'll also show you how to slice the wheels up themselves. So we can have a look at those and there we go so a nice clean slice um, i'm also going to show you how we can slice the model in half as well so let me just flick that up and you can see there it is there that's the bore sliced in half and we can change that mode to see the other side sliced so we'll be decimating and creating booleans for all of this stuff. So it's very involved, this course. Um, it's hours and hours long, and it covers everything you need to know to get detail and gain detail inside of ZBrush for 3D printing. So I hope you enjoy this course and uh, get stuck in. Read the description. I cover a ton of stuff. And also look at the course curriculum as well, where you'll see all of the videos and um 
information there about each of the lectures that I'm doing. Also I'm included, I've opened up a few of the videos for free previews as well so you can look at those and um, see if you like my teaching style. Um, again if you are an absolute beginner to this make sure you take my free ZBrush course which is also on courses.mojomojo.design. You can do a free ZBrush course there and that will get you up to speed to be able to take this more intermediate advanced course.